person in the sky is what you're saying. <laughs> no, I mean, there's not enough room up there for many, many imaginary people, right? <laughs> That's true. <clears throat> I mean, there's only one heaven. Wait, wait or... one hell? Okay, so, so for example, some religions, I don't know which one it is, but some religions say if you repent your sins, no matter how bad, much bad things you did in, in, in the world, you right. will go to heaven. So does that mean... Adolf Hitler's in heaven? Is Joseph Stalin in heaven? Is Tojo in heaven? Okay, folks, if you had 45 minutes and 41 (laughs) seconds for the first Hitler mention, (laughs) you are a winner. I mean, I just got to say that. This is the longest you've ever gone, Ted, without mentioning Hitler. I just got to say this. John even tried to set you up and you didn't mention Hitler. Uh, uh, Let's just say Joseph Stalin. Joseph Stalin murdered... (laughs) Joseph Stalin murdered 25 million of his own people on some fucking weird agrarian fucking program in Russia and yes. you know he, and he got po- by the way he got poisoned by his own inner circle because he was such a fucking lunatic that they couldn't even fucking take him anymore with warfarin by the way which is a blood thinner I so. told you Johnny <laughs> this <laughs> psycho knows everything that you can poison sure. Johnny walked in today and, and Teddy immediately made some reference to somebody who was poisoned and then told then told Johnny you don't even know what it looks like do you <laughs> it's Belladonna yeah, no. yeah. oh that, that was it Belladonna so Stalin for those of you who don't know, was actually poisoned. We know, Ted. We know by warfarin, we which know. is a blood thinner. Yeah, yeah. we're going to talk about non-religion. So the point is, <laughs> let's just say Joseph Stalin on his deathbed, after murdering twenty-five million of his own people, said, "Hey, uh, God, Jesus, whoever he's talking to, I'm sorry about everything I did. Yeah, I'm a sick fuck, Going but I'm to sorry." Heaven. Yeah, Ted. So is, is Joseph Stalin you, in Ted, heaven? It's if if he is, if he is, I feel like people are okay with that. I guess I don't know, man. I don't know how it works. I'm not okay with that. I, 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 but I do know that there are some religions that if you just say, hey, man, I, I accept uh, yeah. this person as my whatever, yeah, yeah if you, you would go to that imaginary awesome place. Right. I'm going to get us back on track here. I know Matt <laughs> wants to talk about non-believers, and one of the big non-believers, I assume, maybe, maybe not, was Darwin. You mentioned evolution. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean do you know, is he even a non-believer or is he just like skeptical? I don't, right, I don't yeah, know. Skeptical, maybe. I mean, yeah, just, just oh, so you ask a question doesn't mean, doesn't mean you're a non-believer. You're just like, you're asking a, because re- you know what, because you're a grown-up, right? You're a grown-up because it's like, you know, when you're a kid, you're kind of forced into yeah. religious beliefs by your parents, but when you grow yeah. up, yeah, you no, actually everybody. have, you actually have independent thought. You can say, hey, you know what, maybe it's like, it's like if my, my mom and dad said, hey, Jack and the Beanstalk, He's a fucking god, and then I grew up and said, "You know what? No, it's a fucking fairy tale. It's not. It's not a real thing." But you know, Darwin went around uh, chronicling, <laughs> finding all these animals. Went to it's Galapagos it's, it's Islands. The, it's called the Galapagos Finches. Yeah. <laughs> do you know? Do you know he <laughs> ate <laughs> one of every animal that he documented? No, I didn't know. What? That. Yeah. I didn't he, know that. Wow. He ate wow. one of every animal wow. that he documented. Yo. So he's like the un Moses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need. To- <laughs> Two I need of three <laughs> of every animal. <laughs> what? Three, M- Moses, yeah. Moses, that's where. Do you need a male and a female? Uh-huh. Yes, and the delicious plump one of anything. <laughs> and one on the side. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. Wow, that's... Wait, so all the different things that he found, he ate one he ate of? one of them. That is... You know what? I want to... I didn't know that. What, what, what was he? Was he an archaeologist? No, he, he was a, he was a, a botanist or a naturist. Okay, okay. a botanist. Dar- Darwin, man. I, yeah. No shit. I just yeah, don't know what right. what kind of science. I just right. want to be uh, that what, so what, I can what, eat shit. The, 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 uh, what was the naturalist? What was, no, maybe? naturalist. Yeah, but like the. Um, I thought that was a nudist. No, no. I can't remember. I can't remember his. his what I waited to say was. that yeah. till Johnny was drinking, yeah. so I wouldn't see yeah, so if he every, spit so on his every, drink. Every animal adapts to its environment that it's in. So the finch is basically if there's a finch like that was in a it, like lived on a like on a seashore. It had a longer beak because it could dig into the cave to like eat the insects in the cave. And you're saying that and, was tasted better than a regular a, finch and a finch naturalist. that yeah. he was a naturalist yeah. naturalist yeah, yeah. okay well, Geolo- well geologist and biologist what was the title of his okay. like, the work like the what was the title of his like greatest work uh, i say? think the title was no one gives a shit <laughs> yeah okay so no so that was funny because cuz teddy you mentioned some did you you know there are seven different kinds of atheists Seven different kinds of what, atheists. What, what, there's seven people who there's seven different people who don't give a shit. They're just they're giving, don't give a shit in a different way. Okay, no, so no. Just... There is there is literally so so if you don't believe in religion, like if you're a don't believeist, yeah, right, right? And you I guess you make a big deal out of it. Yeah. There's seven different kinds of just that of people who don't believe. Like people can, who are so strongly can, can you, opposed you, that they have a what, name for it. So can you articulate to me like what? <clears throat> just just compare like give me like two examples. You don't okay, have to give okay. me all seven. Okay. So there's an atheist. All right. They don't believe. Right. There's actually an anti atheist. Right, and that person thinks religion is harmful. Mm-hmm. Okay, agnostics. There's skeptics. There's um, something called a free thinker. Okay, and he says that opinions should be based on logic and evidence rather than authorities and traditions. So okay. he's going to be that free thinker is just going to be like, hey man, I I I go with what can be proven. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, growing up 
in when I was a younger, the word atheist had a lot of negative connotations. Like, you know, you were against God. You know what I mean? It was yeah. kind right. of a bad. So people used to say they're agnostic. I used to say that that I was when I kind of dropped <clears throat> Catholicism. I'd say I was agnostic, and then now I was like, I was struggling to find something, and I saw that and i definitely feel like i'm a free thinker now Ooh, yeah. okay see and and there's a lot of them there's like a humanist they promote well-being yeah. and, and compassion and equality right because i don't know if a lot of religions do that right because i don't feel like i feel like there's so many rules right. with the different religions that it's it's hard to promote anything positive because you're telling always telling people what not to do stand up kneel sit down stand up kneel listen just pick a position and fuck me <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, here's the fun, you, you know, actually you actually beat me to that you know, here, uh, you which know, one father you know here, here's, so here's, so here's the funny here's, fun, here's, 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 here's the funny thing so i've watched a lot of religious movies which are like like the exorcist which is you know scary as shit they came out in 1972 by the way i mean that's still one of the scariest movies to this yes. day but i mean i like religious movies uh, but I mean, it's it's ver- the pro- the problem with religion is very powerful psychologically because I think people want to believe in something because nobody wants to believe that when you die, that there's nothing out there, right? I mean, because no, here's the bottom line: nobody knows what happens after you die. That's the bottom line: nobody knows. I That's, mean, you know. So, do you think? And I'm just nobody this is, knows. This is off the cuff now. Yeah. I wasn't planning mm-hmm. this, but do you think, Ooh. like in the old days, right? Life was shit. Right, you yeah. worked. You worked twelve hours a day. You died at well. Look, 20. look, look at the fifteen hundreds. I mean, people die in their fucking teens and twenties from like cholera mm. and fucking anything. I mean, just you get the fucking cold, you're dead. Right. Yeah, so, let me tell you. So. so they wanted something after yeah. that life. Well, look but at, look, nowadays, right. yeah, look life at, is so much better. Yeah, look at cavemen. Cavemen, right. cavemen had religious beliefs. I mean, I think they found cave drawings back in like the BC. You know, like I'm talking about like Neanderthals and stuff, where you know they believed in some higher power. It, they didn't articulate it as well as we do now, of course. Yeah, but the bottom line is, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. yeah. <laughs> but do you think that's why there's more atheists, uh, seven different yeah. categories of well, non believers? Yeah. I now? mean, because I, this is good what we have. I mean, remember, like, way, way, way back, there was just one guy from the church telling you what all this stuff was. You didn't have an alternative view. Well, don't look at the church was very powerful back in, like, the, in the in the 1600s, 1700s. That, that was, the right. church was like the king. The church was like the king. They were like, you know, so the pope was like literally like the king when they told you what to do. Right. It was very, it was oh, very yeah, powerful. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so. Listen, I, like I said, I, I don't want to offend the six billion, okay? But I do want to get into a couple of these religions and a couple of other things, but sure. I, I do want to hit a couple of these religions. <clears throat> you guys have heard of Presbyterians. Of yeah. course. Okay. Have you ever heard of a Presbyterian? Never. No. Um, okay. These are people that worship Elvis Presley. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Yes. And they do ha- also have some rules. No bullshit. You must look towards Vegas three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> Viva Las Vegas. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, but you can only live in the West, so that you're looking yeah. east or something like that. I, I that that yeah. I do that I do not know. Um, every um, in their lifetime, everyone who's a Presbyterian needs to make a pilgrimage to Grace Mem- Memphis. I'm yeah, going yeah. to Graceland, yeah. Graceland, yeah. Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that is and. Your focus in life should be on the focus of things that Elvis liked. That should be your focus in Peanut life. Peanut butter and, mm-hmm. and banana pers- sandwiches. And, and, pers- yep. and prescription drugs. Yes. <laughs> Pre- <laughs> Prevacid. Followed no, by oh. some opioids. No, what was it? Uh, Percocet. 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 Yeah. Ted, I'm surprised you didn't. Oh, that's not a poison. That's why Teddy <laughs> yeah, didn't know that. Okay. <laughs> now, this, I, I mean, and, and this is real, and there are hundreds of thousands of people yeah. that do this one. Are you ready? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I was just going to say, before you go to the new one, uh, I saw Elvis Presley in concert really? as a child. No way. Oh, yes. What, what year? Because he, uh, he, he died in 77. He died in 77. Probably like 70-something. I was like maybe yeah. 10, 12. I don't know. What did you think? Um, where the Hawks used to play, not the United Center, to the Chicago Stadium. Yeah. I actually heard. I actually heard he was like really an awesome performer in person. Yeah. He was actually better in person because he was just. I'm in the nosebleed seats. We, I mean, yeah, I yeah. couldn't even see him. Yeah. We had binoculars. Yeah. But. But wow! But well, yeah. you know what? If if you practice Presbyterian, you can go to yeah. heaven. Well, well, you know, what I think about heaven. Way there. <laughs> like, yeah. well, think about Elvis. Like, think about it. Like, you got the best looking guy with the best voice. You know, who can you know do whatever he wants? Yeah, I mean, it's a fucking major hard on for everybody. Like, he you know, makes everybody, it gay, everybody, everybody loves him. It's <laughs> not gay. Everybody He's loves him. Definitely not gay. Yeah. Let I me mean, just preface this by saying. I'm the package kidding. that guy yeah. had. I mean, I mean, oh my I mean, think God. about it. Elvis died in '77. We're still talking about him today, as if he's still here. I mean, some of us you're, are. Yeah, you're still talking around like he's still hard. He was hot. <laughs> <laughs> but, but Ted's not gay. He's definitely not gay. Okay, so this one is this one again. Hundreds of thousands of people 
Jediism. That makes sense. It, what? I just mean there's yeah. a lot of so, weirdos out there. Yeah, so they believe in the Force and a specific energy that flows through all things and binds the universe together. Yeah. They're also called incels. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, wait, did you mean to say insanes? No, no, incels, the guys who, um, you know, who hate women because they won't date them, so they sit in their basement and jerk off. And <laughs> oh, those guys. Those guys. Read, yes. read guns on my magazine, all that shit. Yeah, yeah. so, so okay. here, you know, here's my question, just real quick, before, so here, here's my question. So, you know, I was raised, I was actually a bar mitzvah when I was Gay. 13. <laughs> yeah, that too, yeah, so. 13, everything happened to you when you were 13. Because it was my mom. You, met, you my, met Bernard Randolph. My mom first, my mom Mr. Coffee. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. You, you exactly. were baptized. Yeah. Okay. And it's all been downhill since then. So, you, know, yeah. you know what's funny? I can't believe that you're not uh, Catholic because I feel like at that age would be the perfect t- day, the perfect time <laughs> no, for you no to con- be an altar no, boy. No condoms with Catholics. So here's my question. So, okay. So my question, like I always thought this, like if I ever saw a ghost, because there's ghosts. I mean, you we see, see, see we see stuff on on YouTube. We- there's CCT <laughs> footage of like there's an, there's a lot Wait, of animals. Have, we, gone, have we gone from religion to ghosts? No, I'm just saying. But but but, but it's part of it, right? Because what's a ghost? A ghost is someone who died. It's some- Something they make up on who, TV. Who hasn't transitioned? <laughs> oh, did you see that? Yeah. I love okay. the ghost chasers. But, but here, That's the greatest but, but show. Seriously, but seriously, but seriously, okay. let's just say there's a ghost, and let's just say I didn't shit my pants, and I was like, I was scared to death. I was like, it's a fucking ghost. Of course, I'm, I'm fucking scared to death. But let's just say I calmed down. I was just like, you know what? Here, here's what I want. You don't have to tell me the fucking meaning of life. Just, just give me the fucking winning Powerball numbers oh, yeah. <laughs> for the next for the next drug. I'll Why tell you what. I, I will buy you. Right. A, That's I exactly will, what I say I every bu- time he says this, John. I will, I will Why would a ghost know? How would a ghost know the winning Powerball? Well, because he's. He has the secrets of life and death, right? He's a fucking ghost. I'm like, give me the Wait women. a minute. He could that, just be some asshole future, who doesn't yeah. know how to get to hell or don't, heaven. Don't scare, Or wherever. S- I'm sorry. Wherever s- he might go. Scaring the shit out of me isn't going to fucking benefit anybody. Give me the winning Powerball numbers. I will buy you a fucking mansion. You can haunt that shit all you want just as long as you hook okay, me up. You are putting two things together just that make me no up. sense you know, to me whatsoever. You know, you know no, who don't? It's the afterlife, right? It's, it's a fucking ghost. I mean, if you're dead and you're it, still it here. It doesn't make you omniscient. The afterlife doesn't make you understand how to win. Why don't you just tell me who's... But uh, it's still a step closer. Ooh, close. Ted, <laughs> the Blue Jays will win the World I, Series. Put fucking, all your money I'm on the about, Bulls I'm not talking about winning fucking, the NBA championship. I'm not talking about fucking Casper. I'm talking about a real fucking well, ghost. Gonzaga is yeah, going to win yeah, NCAA yeah, tournament. No, he'll yeah, never yeah, win. Yeah, Ted, Gonzaga. don't bet on Gonzaga. Is Gonzaga, is Gonzaga going to win the championship? Oh, they lost Arkansas. Never yeah. mind. <laughs> Teddy, I, I just I don't understand how putting those two things together that never... Every time we talk, every time there's you talk about this, there's got to be There's got to be a correlation. Between ghosts and the winning no, numbers of Powerball. No, I'm just saying, if, if you died, if you died and you're still fucking here and I see you, that's fucking, sc- that's fucking scary, man. That's you fucking should, scary. Yeah. Do, do you know who don't believe in ghosts? Okay. Who? 60-year-old men. <laughs> what because you're like, you tur- I've been alive for 60 years. Turkish, I've never seen a fucking at a, at ghost. A Turkish so. bath, at a Turkish bath. Yeah. Okay, seriously. If, if you were sitting in your house and you had a beer and all of a sudden your fucking drink glass moved from like here to here... I'd I, fucking shit my pants, right? Me too, but it's never happened. <laughs> I, w- I would just assume I was super fucking high, and it didn't really happen, right? But I'm just saying, if I got over the initial shock of like being scared to death of like whatever the fuck was in front of me, I'm like, all right, what do you? What do you ten, ten, oh, so you'd be like, whoa, what just happened? I'm, what are the winning lottery numbers? I'm, I'm like, I'm seriously. What, I mean, I'm just saying, I would tell the ghost, what's the what's the fucking point of scaring the shit out of me? What's the point of scaring the shit out of me? <laughs> you goddamn dumbass ghost, why are you scaring me? Of course, I'm fucking scared. I know when I'm getting set. <laughs> I know what I'm getting. Of course, I'm fucking birthday. scared. <laughs> like, I'll have someone come in, like, pretend to be a ghost and give him, like, six number, random yeah. numbers. Wait till Teddy's super fucking drunk come in. Dude, no, I, I the mean, winning lottery win? numbers no, are. No, seriously, seriously. Those weren't Illinois. Those were Indiana. <laughs> you stupid bitch. <laughs> no, seriously. I tell the, you know what I tell the ghost? I'm from Indiana. You know, what I, you know what I tell the ghost? Help me help you. Help me help you. Because oh you're God. fucking dead, and I'm here. Because you can't, you can't touch it. Because you're in a fucking phantom. You're in the fucking alternate so, universe. So you <laughs> would what? You would jack the go- dude, jack the ghost off? No, I can't fucking. You know, I can't fucking touch him because he's in the fucking phantom zone. Because of course he I can't. Be able to put a toilet roll into his butt. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy, could you help him with? The, he'll trade you yeah. winning lottery numbers for toilet roll. Okay. In the butt. What, what about these people who allegedly, allegedly, you know, can talk to the dead, like Sylvia Brown? And I think there's like a new Ted. guy. He's a young guy. He can. Ted, he, we know he what that is. We've all, we've all. We We all know what that. We, we've all seen how people can fake read people. All right, let's. Of course. Teddy, can we get back to religion, please? Yes. Because this is but it's important. Part, but, it's, but it's part of it. Ghosts? Mm. No, we're talking about the fucking mm. dead. I mean, because like I said, the whole premise is nobody has ever come. No, nobody who's ever died in the history of mankind has ever come back and objectively you proven don't know that. to the world. Yes. I've been but he reincarnated. In yeah. 
I'm, I believe in something. I mean, I like to. But, I mean, I'm not but, an atheist, but, but I Teddy, in if something. somebody if somebody actually died and came back and told people about it, I'd be scared. Sh- 